It's very pathetic to be in this place. There are a lot of diseases inside, as you can see, some scabies. When I was coming here from home, I had nothing like this. They started in the form of a rash, and then when I was scratching, the wounds started growing bigger and bigger. After waking up in the morning, I take a bath. Then I wait for food, which comes once in a day. And this food, and the way I am, I see that this food cannot help to build my body. In our cells, the cells are very congested. These cells are supposed to cater for 60 prisoners. And now, in my cell, there are more than 150 of us. We have no blankets and we sleep on the ground. I remember there have been cases whereby uh, somebody has been held by the police for four years and in the end they are acquitted. Just staying in, in a prison, you're just waiting from sunrise, sunset, now the whole night, just waiting for your day to be in court. You are not in a place where a human being should be. At the time I was being arrested, I thought this would be the end of my life. My hopes are very slim as I can see that it will not be easy for me to get out of this place. And I can see that my future and the future of my family, they are both doomed. Indeed, this has been a very painful moment for my grandmother. I am village head woman Musinda. Benson is my grandson. There were a lot of things that Benson used to help me with. Indeed, I expect that I'm going to have less food this year because he's not here. That part that used to be cultivated by him will have nobody to cultivate. So it will only be me. Since I'm old, there is very little that I'm expecting to harvest from my field. I'm suffering from the sadness of thinking about him every day and without even knowing where things are going to come to an end. It becomes impossible for me to eat because of the sadness that is within me. This is a very difficult situation for Benson because a nephew is the one to whom we transmit the power of being a headman of the village. He has missed a lot of things that he would have learned from the elders. We feel this is very unfair that he's been kept in custody for such a long time without even knowing what is happening with his case. Indeed, we feel our brother is being enslaved. I find that our justice system is not working well because in these 28 months, I thought it would have ended. I really regret what I did. Despite the offense which I committed, I feel they're just keeping me here in custody without taking me to court. When the sun is setting, I feel again worried. The whole day has gone without me being taken to court. Am I going to go through the whole court proceedings before I die so that at least justice can be seen?